Hey guys, happy to hear coming with the Warface video. Before we start, um, this video was pretty late because my computer has been reformatted, so I'm on a different computer, and the microphone I am using is very nice, so you can see the difference. I wish I had this mic, but you know, I live in England and everything here is expensive, so that's my excuse. Anyways, we're playing with the pile driver automatic, fully automatic shotgun, and the MD9 US set. Um, half half the time I used the pistol and half the time I used the bayonet, but oh well, I guess. Uh, we try to get the uh, kill score. Um, but yeah, uh, we're playing. I think this was uh, yeah, this was a skilled mission. Yeah, it was a skilled mission since this bit is where the heavy gun came up. I am narrating this because there was a, there was a lot of noise when I was recording this at the time, and um, yeah, uh, uh, okay. So basically, the heavy gun is here, right here, and I go around, and he faces the other way. But as soon as he needs to reload. The guy, the two guys with the bolas, just shoot the crap out of him. He was dead in under just five seconds, really. It's just that's the power of the bolas. And now, yeah, okay, the power of the bolas. I ba it's basically the same as the peg bull up bullpup that you pay for. So basically, players that have like, played this game a lot have got a free Sega 12 because the both the guns are exactly the same. There's no difference. Um, apart from one, one uh, shotgun has a mag, and one doesn't. I tried freaking milling him, but it didn't work. God damn, I can't milling heavy soldiers as hell. But uh, we tried getting headshots with with a melee weapon, and just it's really hard to do it. I don't know why. I'm trying my best to get it. I think it's actually easy to get a melee weapon with oh, a headshot with a melee weapon with the actual melee weapon, like not a, not a bayonet. But I should have brought my katana because katana is some for some reason are more easier to get headshots than any other weapon. I know. I guess that's how it goes. Yeah, I hardly use the pile driver. I'm gonna be using it a bit more in this next bit. I'm trying to get the slide kills done. Um, I don't know if we're skipping into the next bit, um, so th at the moment this is the skilled mission. I think I might show in the regular, I'm not sure, but basically think of a USAS-12 and a regular co-op, I mean, if you could, but I think all of those are AI just like the ragdolls just flying. This is basically what the pile drive is like. So, pile drive, let's go through the specs now because it's taken ages for me to actually talk about it. Um, 540 damage, the rate of fire is 240, 10 rounds in the mag, and the uh, hip fire accuracy and the actual aim accuracy is the same as the Viper. Well, it's it's slightly better, but the Viper has only plus 4 damage, it's not really much. So you're neither going for a Viper or a pile driver. They're basically both the, exactly the same. Uh, I don't know which has more rounds in it. Um, I think the power driver does. I'm not sure, but I mean, I know the Viper is fully automatic, but I mean, I get, I don't know. I guess it's slightly better since it has a, it has higher damage and higher rate of fire. But it's just the accuracy which lets down the gun. So I suggest if you're gonna if you're gonna use a um, Viper, get the advanced reflex sight, which increases the accuracy and the assault. I mean. The uh, shotgun silencer, and for the power driver, well, you can't have any. Well, you don't really have any attachments for the power driver. You can't have any attachments because yeah, this gun is like a, um, a big ass prototype. Because this gun, uh, in real life, this gun was never entered into production because the mouth, like the uh, actual prototype, prototype didn't work properly. So we didn't actually. It didn't come in. Um, but the only place where you can actually find this gun. Um, actually said yeah you can find them in video games and uh, movies and that you can't find the yeah they're not in real life just on sword and stuff and that but you can see I'm actually using the power driver now uh yeah the slide kill's done this mission is actually a bit longer because this AA 
Oh, this tank takes ages. It's a tungsten. I don't know. That's the. It's something something tungsten. Um, I have to go into armor two to find the actual name for it, but it's a long ass name. Um, now <laughs> I'm holding the executor knife right now. I was just yeah. This is the bit where I was wondering: is it easier to get a headshot with the executor knife or the bayonet? Um, so you can try, you can see the challenge there. It's trying to get the uh, headshots. Um, well, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I think it is because the katana is actually really easy for some reason. I mean, look, I'm just trying to aim up. <laughs> I, lit I took a little bit of time actually trying to hit an enemy in the head. Uh, this bit there was no enemy there. Was, that's usually a spawn point. I almost get bomb shelled. Uh, that bit there. <laughs> and that. Oh my god. I think I died at this point. I don't think I'm that Of course, it's enraged. So. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I think if you do like the mic for some reason, I don't know, it's just, just saying. Um, say if it's very different, um, there's a lot, there's l way less, um, I don't know, noise or whatever in the background. Like, you know, it's just, it's not as terrible as my other one. But unfortunately, this it will be the only video with it in it, unless I fund money and get a proper mic, which I probably can't be asked to. I mean, there is only one mic I really want to get, and it's an AT2020, but the actual thing costs $80, but it's a condenser mic, and it's pretty much the best mic in the world. Unless you're gonna go for a blue microphone, which you know, they're popular, but I don't like them. I don't like the way they look, it looks retarded. I don't want, I don't want that blue. I don't want a snowball mic just sitting in my room. It looks to me it looks retarded. Uh, he's got the SK or SVK shiny method set. I don't know how he has a shiny method set as well. I don't know how you can get them now because you can't really get it in daily rewards because you know before you could get a super reward until Crytek decided to add some shitty guns like basic. Really, I mean. Yeah, they use they're gonna be useful for lower ranks because they probably want to use some really good weapons, but then for high ranks it's weird. Well I mean the only useful thing I guess was the R for A one US set and the M D nine US set and the extra strong vest, but the rest of the stuff is I don't like them. TWM basic. Yeah, I mean that's alright, but um what are the basic? Viper basic. I already got the Viper. I mean, actually, the Viper basic actually has a bit more accuracy, but no point. I mean, the rate of fire is, is lower and the damage is lower, so. Um, but. Oh well, I guess. I guess they're there anyway. Free weapons, I guess. I mean, you don't have to always pay. Um, they really need to add an auto repair. It's just so annoying when the. Uh, no, I'm, I like seriously. It is so annoying. Every uh, time you have to repair, repair like times in there, auto repair. Come on, like, they need to add that. It's, it can't be that hard. It's just something that simple. Um, but yeah, the uh, next update as well. I'm just thinking about that now since uh, they should put like in an update the auto repair. Like, I don't exactly know when the uh, new update is coming out. I I'm thinking I might do patch notes. I always say I'm going to do something, but I haven't done it yet, like maps. I said I was going to review the maps, but there's just so much like I'm thinking of doing now. Like, because of the new update, I'm going to be, I want to talk about the skins, probably, yeah, the map itself, um, the trailer of the map, I'll probably put the trailer of the map, the new map in the description, everyone's seen it, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it now. It should be up on the uh, launcher, of the news. I'll probably watch it one more time, because it looks pretty sick, and that shotgun in the uh, map, it's got like a bayonet on it. It looks like sword off. Probably it's going to be called like a duck gun or something. I don't know. And here we are, the final last stretch. Uh, this is where <laughs> there was an enemy right there. I got my power driver out, managed to get a headshot. <laughs> it's a bit glitched, but. And then of course this is the mission where the helicopter doesn't actually open up until five minutes later. So we were just stuck there, doing absolutely nothing. Um, I got a bit bored and I got my executor and everything and started just trying to just chop it for some reason. I don't know. I tried chopping a tree with an executor and there's no chance of that. You could do it with a katana. Probably a, a frozen popsicle, unless that's the Christmas update. Which will probably never come out again until, of course, next Christmas. I don't know if it will. 
I like that the stuff they had in Black Beat, Christmas Everest, Andy 9, there was a, yeah, that, that weird ass, it's not even an ice popsicle, it's just some shard of ice. I don't know what it is, I can't, I can't remember what fucking head is here, but I thought there was an enemy there, I threw a grenade, you know, there was nothing actually there. I was going to throw a cry wall, but, um, um, so yeah, here comes the bit where I start trying to just, for some reason, hit the tree. Probably for the job, so yeah, I just don't use a katana only because it's that expensive. I'm only gonna keep it there for like safekeeping, top my knife collection. Uh, I might play the Black Hawk axe because I want to get the crazed axe run challenge. Yeah, and this bit is really weird because see, he's floating in air, but it's actually a, a bug when you uh, walk onto the barrel. You can actually get on the tank, and if you go onto the barrel, um, and if you don't move. Uh, you'll just stay there. If you, if you move, then you just fall off. So you can see here. I move up a little bit. And then the, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. The weird ass bug. But... You'll probably know. And there, there you go. That's where the, uh, the, evac or the helicopter decides to open up finally. And that's the end of the mission. So, anyways. Thanks for watching this video, I know it's a bit late, but if you've managed to watch it some some of this time, then okay, then I guess that's cool. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, like and subscribe, be sure to check out my other videos, um, if you're thinking of requesting a gun, it might be there. And I will see you um, next time.